I'm just a guy who loves Disney that has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Von Underwini and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm Von Underwini. A little bit earlier this week, guys, uh, I'm going down to Disneyland right after the, or Disneyland, I'm going to Ocean City. Yeah, but I'm going to Disneyland in September, but now I'm going to Ocean City for a long weekend, and uh, I just wanted to get this out to you real quick. Might not be the best show in the world, uh, considering what I'm reviewing, but you know what? They're there, and uh, you don't have to like it, so just enjoy it for what it is. My view counts have been going down anyway, so it's like, eh. Uh, apparently not many people are liking App August, even though I think it's pretty cool. Um, but whatever. Whatever. So, uh, real quick, where in the world for, uh, for last week was the Decidier Steakhouse. Walking in, that was the, the main dining room. Looks so good. Uh, I loved that place. It was so awesome. Uh, so you guys all got that. It was not very hard. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the bonus videos. Uh, I do love those little blind bags of, of whatever it is, you know, you know, like, you know, it's like a little surprise every time you open stuff up. I love those types of toys. Um, uh, so yeah, if you ever, for whatever reason, want to get Final 928 a gift, I love small stuff like that. The big stuff, I'm not really a fan of, but whether it be like a, a trash pack surprise thing or a Minecraft thing, uh, whatever it is, honestly, whatever it is, whether it be a Lego, a Squishy, or whatever, I don't know what it is. Um, I love those little blind bags, those little gifts, uh, because they're really small and I can collect them and put them on my uh, shelves here. So, yeah, but that is, uh, the, I hope you enjoyed that. And honestly, the review of the, um, the wireless adapter was just for YouTube. I just felt like doing it because I haven't done a review that wasn't for a toy or any some form of Disney stuff for a while. I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on for me this week. I might have uh, some video for you from uh, Ocean City next week. So uh, yeah, so maybe keep an eye out for that. Oh, you know, we'll see. So anyway, let's get right to the news. Now, before I get to the main part of the news, uh, the biggest piece of news, obviously, I think this week, it was the passing, the shocking passing of Robin Williams who was famous for portraying the genie and a number of other things that he's done in his career in show business. But as it pertains to Disney, he was the genie and the timekeeper for the old timekeeper attraction. Robin Williams was one of my favorite comedians. He was one of those people that I really was hoping I could meet someday. He his humor right goes right along with mine and I would have loved just you know just love to have had a conversation with him uh, you know everybody has said that he was the nicest guy and from everything that I've seen he just seemed to be a genuine nice guy and just the greatest more probably one of the greatest comedic uh, performers of all time he, he his style of comedy uh, was just second to none and I mean you know you got Richard Pryor, George Carlin, and Robin Williams as like the three main people that you know make comedy what it is, uh, or that made comedy what it you know what it was. So uh, I love uh, Robin Williams, his movies, whether it be Hook or uh, Good Will Hunting or as yeah, the genie in Aladdin, uh, he was he was great, and uh, it really shocked me uh, to my core when, when I heard that he uh, he he passed away. So. Uh, my condolences go out to his family and uh, again if, if because of how he died it did uh, bring a lot of stuff to light for some people and if you do know anybody or you yourself are feeling down or anything like that call somebody talk to somebody I promise you getting it out getting it off your chest will help you uh, in, the, in the long run you know uh, you know I, I suffer from depression too uh, you know, it's not really unknown amongst me and my, you know, you know, my friends and family and I that I suffer from depression. Um, but there, there is help and there are ways out. There is always a better way. There's always a way out. Even though it looks terrible, there is always a way out. So, 
Um, believe me, I get it. I understand because I deal with it too. And I know it's not always that easy, but just please just try to talk to somebody. Whether, you know, even just calling somebody when you're in a fit of depression can really help you out through a time. But again, my heartfelt condolences go out to Robin Williams and his family uh, for having to deal with this terrible situation. And Robin Williams, you uh, you were one of my 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 idols, one of the ones that I you know, that, that I always looked up to. And uh, thank you so much, so so much for making me laugh and bringing smiles to my face. Uh, you know, you have no idea what they have meant to me. So. Robin Williams, thank you. Huh, well, <laughs> moving on from that. Uh, this past week, Disney has started the installation work on the streets of America for this year's Osborne Spectacle, a spectacle of Dancing Lights at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It takes installation crews over two months to install the five million plus lights that make up the display. The Osborne Spectacle of Dancing Lights will take place this year from November 7th to January 4th. Guests with a, with a magic band linked to the Memory Maker photo package, that's that awesome photo package that for, you know, for a fee you get all those photos in the park, uh, you know, you, you have total access to them, excellent stuff. They will begin receiving souvenir onboard video at the Tower of Terror, yes, that's right, onboard video at the Tower of Terror. The Tower of Terror attraction at Disney's Hollywood Studios is the first at Walt Disney World to offer on-ride videos as part of the new My Magic Plus system. More attractions are expected to follow with the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and Haunted Mansion strongly tipped to get the onboard photo and video experience. After riding those guests with the photo package, should be expected to see the videos online at the My Disney Experience uh, within 24 hours of riding. The video is captured, edited, and uploaded to the My, I guess, My Disney Experience account automatically all driven from the My Magic Band and the RFID readers. Uh, the onboard, the on-ride video is not available to any guest not wearing a My Magic or a Magic Band with a linked Memory Maker account. So, uh, you know, that's one of the pluses of getting the, uh, having that uh, awesome My Memory thing, plus having that uh, Memory Maker uh, photo package. Excellent stuff. The Walt Disney Company and Pandora have announced that they have entered a new Strategic Alliance giving Pandora Jewelry a presence in both Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort. The agreement includes sponsorship of the Wishes Nighttime uh, Fireworks Show at the Magic Kingdom and the creation of an original Disney-themed jewelry collection launching at retail locations from the fall. The initial launch expected to roll out to stores early in early November of 2014, uh, November this month, will include 25 different styles and additional 16 styles will be sold at Disney merchandise locations including the Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort. For more information, follow the link below. They just just basically the uh, the press release and all that stuff. Very very cool stuff if you're into that. And finally, the My Disney Experience website and iOS apps have now begun offering an improved dining reservation service. Guests will be able to make same day dining reservations from 20 minutes out. That's really cool. Uh, this improves the current system by a couple of hours. Uh, initially, the update will only be available to iOS users on the iPhone, iPad, and iPods. The My Disney Experience website will also offer the new functionality. However, similar functionality on uh, the Android platform is expected later in the year. So, if you're on, if you're on an Android phone, expect that later in the year. If you're on the, if you have the iPhone, uh, expect that uh, right now. Uh, you, you, you should be able to have it. So, yeah, that's the news for this week. Let's get right to these, uh, right to these reviews. All right, guys, the first thing I want to review for you today and, and, and hopefully demonstrate for you is the Radio Disney app. Um, now, Radio Disney has been around for a little bit. It's kind of, it's, it's interesting to see how it's kind of evolved. Like, Radio Disney kind of started as a, cho at a children's radio show. Uh, you know, it's where you, it was the best place, you know, I guess for you to, you know, listen to songs. But Radio Disney was never about, uh, you know, Disney tunes or anything like that. Although I don't understand why they never did that. You know, Disney has such a vast array of, um, of Disney music 
Uh, you know, you know whether it be show tunes or the movie tunes or anything like that. But Radio Disney was never about that. It was uh, actually about the pop music of now uh, and uh, kind of like five minutes ago uh, being played. And uh, that's kind of what it is. If you have Sirius XM like I do, I have Radio Disney on, on, on you know, kind of your program on. I have to. I'm the Disney guy. And every now and then I'll listen and I'll hear the same music that I heard on either uh, you know on the, on the, on the, on the pop stations that uh, are the main ones of of then, but they obviously blurt out any um, or you know bleep out any uh, questionable lyrics or things like that. Uh, you know it's still Disney. It is definitely funny uh, because you know the first time I heard of Radio Disney, I thought I was going to be listening to Disney tunes, but no, it's more of just the uh, pop music uh, you know that uh, I, I hear anywhere else. So the app itself is pretty basic. I'll, I'll take you through it uh, so you guys can uh, can see what it is, and uh, you know, and maybe uh, you know want to download it if it's your sort of thing. So let's go through the Radio Disney app. All right, guys, here we are in my Disney thing once again, and I'm going to be doing the Radio Disney app right now. So let's just go straight into Radio Disney. I'm not going to. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, considering there's music playing. So, uh, you know, you know, we'll see what happens with that. So let's go into the Radio Disney app and see how it works. Now, basically, this is a rehash of the, uh, it's not really, well, we're not, we're not a rehash, but it's like going on to RadioDisney.com and listening live on there, but so it's, you know, it's an app, app form. So I'm just going to pause this. We don't need to be listening to the music and whatsoever. I'm just showing you the actual app itself. Uh, there are, there's not too much to the app, um, you know, it's basically just a, a listening app. So what I'm going to do is just to, you know, go through and show you got that search icon uh, in the upper right hand corner. Uh, you can go back there, you can swipe and go to different uh, things like videos, uh, you know, your different uh, videos in there so you can see that. Let's go back and you got events, different Radio Disney events, uh, so that's pretty cool. Total Access Live, you know, other other events, Radio Disney Live photos, uh, loading up photos and different things from Radio Disney, different sweepstakes and things like that. Request a song, picture this. Uh, you can, you can, you, you, there's a, has an alarm clock that you can set. There's a Radio Disney store, uh, so you can do all that. Uh, you can set favorites obviously and all your account and copyright information uh, so that's pretty fun now there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with this and uh, the app is mainly just for the radio disney um, uh, you know place uh, it's you know it's not really and it doesn't have any tie-ins with uh, the watch disney or uh, or the disney channel apps or anything like that it's its own standalone thing um, I'm not exactly sure what that thing in the bottom right hand corner is <laughs> to be honest uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is but the main thing is is just to listen to uh, the live streaming of the Radio Disney so overall uh, that's pretty much what the Radio Disney app is there's nothing overtly special to it uh, but if you're listening to Radio Disney and they urge you to go to the app to do something whether it be enter a sweepstakes or something like that uh, this is the app that you do it uh, and then, uh, so yes, you can meet Zendaya or Becky G or N Becky G, and that sort of things, <laughs> that sort of, sort of stuff. So, Radio Disney Live. Okay, it takes you to the site. Uh, okay, all the different things. Uh, there you go. So yeah, Radio Disney, it's basic stuff. Um, not nothing overtly, you know, special there. So, you know, so I'll take it back and, and, and give it a star rating and my final thoughts on the Radio Disney app. Well, there you go. That was the Radio Disney app. It's basically just a streaming service for Radio Disney. Uh, you know, if you're if you're on the internet, uh, it, you know, it, it's it, and you want to listen to Radio Disney, you can you can listen to it anywhere without having to buy SiriusXM and all that stuff. 
Uh, but again, it's it's more the pop music, not the actual Disney tunes that we're so used to hearing, which I don't understand why Disney doesn't do that. But whatever, it's a, it, it works for Disney. It's a you know it's a, it's kind of like a kids' radio sort of thing, like a kids' bop sort of thing, only with actual music rather than the you, you know the covers. So whatever, it's, it's fun for them, and if it works for them, then it's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to give the Radio Disney app, I'll give it three stars. It's you know it is what it is. Um, uh, the music is, you know, whatever the music is. I'm not rating it, be, you know, that much because of the music or what they choose to play. Although uh, I would really like it <laughs> if, they, if they would play some actual Disney tunes. Uh, they do actually play, um, you know, kind of more children's stuff in the mornings uh, or, or in the or you know, you know, during the day times. But uh, for the most part, it's just pop music. Uh, you know, up today and uh, about five minutes ago. So yeah, the Radio Disney app, three stars. You can check it out if you want to. All right, guys. The next thing I want to review today are all of the Watch Disney apps. This is a a, a pretty new thing. Now that you know the, the you know, HBO has HBO Go, the you know the Xfinity here on the East Coast has Xfinity app where you can watch all kinds of Disney or I'm sorry, app, you know. Xfinity shows and things like that. And I'm sure Showtime and Cinemax have theirs. So Disney came out with a Watch Disney app, but they broke it up into three separate applications. You got the Disney Channel, the Watch Disney Channel app, which is all the you know the stuff from the Disney Channel, uh, all the shows and stuff from the Disney Channel. Then you have the uh, Disney Junior Watch Disney Junior app, which is, shows you all the stuff from the Disney Junior Channel. And then the Disney XD, uh, Watch Disney XD app, which shows you all the stuff from Disney XD. And they're essentially the same, uh, you know, just with all different um, uh, shows and whatnot. So, you know, if you watch stuff from Disney XD, it's not going to be on the Disney Channel app. If you watch something from Disney Junior, it's not going to be on the Disney XD app, you know, so it's kind of like that. But they're essentially the same thing. That's why I'm reviewing them all at, all, all at once. Because whatever I say about one, you can apply it to the other. Uh, the, the format is pretty basic. You, you have to punch in your, uh, your service provider um, password and, and username in order to view this stuff. So uh, if you don't have cable and you don't know what your, your, uh, your, your, your online passcode is, talk to your parents or... Uh, you know, if, if it's you out there actually watching it, uh, you know, you got to log in to like for me, it's Comcast. I would use my Comcast Xfinity uh, login and uh, be able to watch whatever I want because that way the Disney could verify that I am paying to watch Disney Channel and then, then I can watch it on the go when, you know, whenever I want. Same thing with HBO and Xfinity uh, and Xfinity and Showtime and, and uh, Cinemax and all that stuff. So. Uh, you know, it's it's no different than that, but it is cool the you know the fact that you can have this on the go and watch it wherever you want, and uh, you can watch all your favorite TV shows from Disney Channel, Disney Junior, and Disney XD. So uh, let me take you through uh, you know you know these apps. I might show you some stuff, and um, I'm not going to stream anything because that's illegal. But uh, I, I will show you just basically how it is and and the workings of it. So and then we'll come back and I'll give you a star rating. So let's check it out. All right, guys, the final things I want to be reviewing today are on the bottom here, uh, the Watch Disney apps. You got the Watch Disney Channel app, the Watch Disney Junior app, and the Watch Disney HD, HD, uh, sorry, XD app. And uh, I'll, base, I'll, I'll show you the basics of them. There's, there, there's nothing too crazy, uh, you know, uh, so, and, the, and, the, and they're pretty much the same. So let's go into the Disney Channel app. I won't be showing you any Disney Channel uh, shows, but I'll show you what the app is like. Well, I didn't really know this until now, but uh, the the program that I'm using to actually, uh, uh, you know, you, you know, record my TV uh, or, or or my phone with won't let me actually record the Watch Disney app, uh, the Watch Disney apps because it's it's it thinks I'm going to um, uh, pirate stuff, but I'm not, I'm actually not going to. So, but I won't be able to actually show you uh, the actual app itself. Uh, so I'm gonna have to just take kind of screen captures of uh, of and, and pictures of my of the actual app. Yeah, but you're not missing much. It's uh, it's basically uh, kind of like any of the other 
uh, you know, Comcast apps or the HBO Go apps where you just find your favorite show and you can watch the, uh, you know, the, the episodes on it. So the, uh, the Disney Channel app only has Disney Channel shows. Disney Junior app only has uh, Disney Junior shows. And Disney XD only has Disney XD shows. So uh, that's pretty much it. So you're not really missing out on a whole lot. Sorry I couldn't show you the actual apps themselves. Uh, but you, you know, you're not missing out on a whole lot. So the uh, let's go back and I'll give it a star rating and my final thoughts. Sorry about that, guys. Well, we're back. Uh, it's basically you know it's it's just you know standard stuff. It is fun though. It all it, it works good if you know if you have a good connection. Uh, you know, obviously my connection uh, is okay. It gets it done. Uh, but um, you know if, if you're if you have a really good strong Wi-Fi connection, you can really stream it well, kind of like the Netflix app and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, what am I going to give the Watch Disney uh, apps? Uh, I'll give them three. They're, they're stuff that, you know, you can take them if you want them. Uh, but, you know, if you don't want them, you don't have to. And the reason why I'm giving it that high is because it, they work. You know, it's not like a bootleg app that crashes all the time. Otherwise, it'd be a one or a two. Uh, you know, but you do have to pay and have, a, have, have cable service in order to use these apps. Um, you know, so don't just think you can download them and uh you know and, and get them but you know pretty much everybody nowadays has cable and uh you know pays some pays you know some sort of uh something to some ca cable service provider and uh if you go online and uh pay your bills online and you you have to sign up for a uh, uh or, or or log in you know to have a login use that login for your disney channel app and you can watch all your Disney Channel favorite uh, TV shows right on your phone. So that's uh, very, very fun stuff. So the Disney Channel app, the Disney XD app, and the Disney Junior app, all of them three stars. Check them out if you're into it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney news and reviews. Again, stay tuned for video from my Ocean City trip. Hopefully, I should have some. I don't plan on doing a whole lot down there. I'm mainly going because I have... Uh, some other stuff to do and deal with and I need some kind of alone time to to do it. It's really better when I have uh, you know silence with all that. Uh, so yeah, that should be fun. Um, yeah, ch uh, you know, also check out my bonus videos and all that stuff. I, I, I'll try to keep uh, you know, all that stuff going on. And again, uh, heartfelt condolences to the family of Robin Williams. Terrible, terrible stuff. Now, uh, if anybody from Disney is watching, let's just finish this. Please don't sue me. Uh, I just want people to go down to Disney World and enjoy the stuff and check out the Watch Disney apps and the Radio Disney app. It's very, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty, you know, you know, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and if you are going down to Disney World, be sure to go to allers.net, touringplans.com, uh, wdwmagic.com for all your latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good too. And uh, as is Passporter.com, they have an awesome book to go along with it. So check all of those out if you're going down to Disney World and you will be a Disney ex expert like me. Um, so yeah, that should be it. And uh, I'll see you guys next week for another Disney news and reviews. So guys, where in the world am I this week? Bye guys. Who's chainsawing? Seriously.